gosh, I'm super, super excited to have my sweet friend Val Cribs with me today. Um, I'm just delighted to be able to share with you her amazing magic. Of course, we're talking about art and healing and how the two are connected. Um, Val is an extraordinarily talented lady. Oh, you have no idea. I mean, there's so much coming out of this woman. It's crazy. <laughs> she is definitely an extraordinary. I've been able to work with her for, for the last year here and there and different things. And um, I'm just honored to have her. Uh, share her magic. For those of you who don't know, I'm an intuitive artist, a healer, and a metaphysical mentor, Johanna Gardner. So um, I'm going to pass it on to you, Val. Um, tell us about yourself, your history, your background, where you started, and how did you get here? Oh, thank you for having me, Johanna. I love you, and I love what you do. And, um, you know, one of the benefits of this whole online experience is all the wonderful sisters that I get to connect with and grow with. And you, you're wonderful with that. So thank you. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm Val and I live in Los Angeles. I live near Venice Beach, California with my husband and my two little boys. And um, so I'm a mompreneur. And, <laughs> and um, I've been in business for myself for the last two years. I started in, I made my company in June of 2015. Um, and the name of my company is Valtopia, V-A-L-T-O-P-I-A. And I call myself a visionary soul guide. So I'm an artist and I'm an energy guide and I'm a life and spirit guide. And I don't feel that I heal you. I feel that I guide you. And um, the artwork is a big part of the process for me, not only in how I connect to the energy of my clients and the quote unquote healing or guidance of their energy, but also um, in how that's channeled through without me putting my own monkey mind on it. Because as you know, when we are working with art, when we're coloring or drawing or painting, we're using both sides of our brain and they're connecting. And we're also able to just sort of bypass the overthinking mind that tends to do not allow the beautiful cosmic connection to flow through. Um, so the artwork has always been for me vital since I was a really little kid. I was always drawing and painting and it always came really easily to me. Um, and my stuff was always really good without me having to learn a lot, although I, as a teenager and as a kid, I even as a young woman, I felt very frustrated with my artwork. It took me many, many hours of man time or woman time or whatever you want to call it of just really working with pens, papers, pencil, all of it to master to a point to where now when I go in and feel inspired, I'm channeling. But I spent many years mastering the techniques to be able to feel that free and allow that to come through. Right. So for years before I got into Valtopia, uh, I worked in the film business um, for, uh, for almost 15 years in Los Angeles. And so I worked as an effects artist on films um, after I got my Master of Fine Arts in electronic visualization, which oh. I think it's really really interesting that I'm a soul guide and I'm a visionary. I see things. I help people see their own visions. And I actually have a, a Master of Fine Arts in electronic visualization, which is what I do with my clients. Not only do I guide them energetically and with coaching, but the artwork is part, it, the, it's all digital, a lot of it online. And then that, you know, they it's a visualization to help guide them. So I was thinking about that one day and I was like, wow, you know, what I studied actually is what I'm doing right. okay, my life's purpose. I love that. Um, yeah. So I was in that business for many years and as it was always difficult because you sit in the dark on a computer, it, you know, many hours, tons of overtime, mostly guys, um, a lot of alcohol, you know, it's a hard business that you're drinking at work is drinking after work. And I mentioned that because Physically, I was really falling apart at a certain point. Um, I had hip pain. I had back pain. My body was not happy for all kinds of reasons. Um, 
And as I became a mom and was having my children, it became really difficult to negotiate working all the production hours and then taking care of my family. And at that time, I wasn't really doing a lot of artwork. Once I got married and had kids, I almost wasn't doing any. And that was really hard for me because that's how I process and how I feel alive. And um, I was missing it. So in 2014, I started taking voiceover classes. And that was an awakening experience for me because my voice had been suppressed by myself and life. And I found myself uh, like a fraction of who I really am, though I had been out and I've traveled around the world as a young woman. And my parents always sort of encouraged me to do what I believed. And I did. I, I've done incredible. I've had incredible adventures just as a young woman all the way up. I, a ton of stuff. But then when I got married and had kids, it was almost like this great contraction into all the things I thought I should do, what I was supposed to do, and, you know, all the things I thought my husband thought I should do, and my mother-in-law, you know, all that kind of stuff. Exactly. <laughs> and, um, you know, I, there just came this point where when I started doing the voiceover class, <clears throat> not only did the breath work greatly awaken me, but just I found my voice and I really started to speak and release what needed to come forward. And and my brother also passed away in 2014. And that was really quite a beginning of an awakening for me because he was present with me after that for, for almost a year. I really felt him. And that is when I started channeling the Valtopia coloring book, which you can find on Amazon. It's Valtopia an expansive coloring journey. And I love it because it's, it, I, I just, I had no, I hadn't started my company. I didn't have energy clients yet. I just allowed myself to completely channel and bring forward. And it's all the cycles of expansion, all the stages of an expansive cycle, oh. because I literally was channeling through my expansion and just, oh, just these drawings are, are really quite, I, I, I should have had it with me. I'm sorry. Um, but we'll post the picture. We'll, we'll post the link for sure. Yeah, they're very uh, galactic and um, expansive, and I think they're probably more pertinent now mm -hmm. than they were when I released it. And mm -hmm. I, I think it's still a little bit ahead of everyone in terms right. of being able to accept these kind of images. They're they're very powerfully energet energetically imbued. Um, and each page has a guide that explains the concept, like. One's called Shine, Baby Shine, because, you know, when you reach the peak of your, your cycle, expansive cycle, you're just like, oh, and then, and then you go back into the like, oh, I'm a cocooning and I'm rebirthing. And then, you know, you go through the whole cycle. Right. And so each page has a beautiful drawing that embodies that energy. So when you color it, you can receive that. And then um, a guide to crystals and essential oils that can assist you in that experience and knowing and. Uh, expansive, expansive cycle. Wow. So, <laughs> that sounds amazing. So they can find it on your on your website, right? Valtopia. They, they can find it on valtopia.com. It and that one I would sign, hand sign and hand deliver. So it takes a little bit longer. But if you want to get your hands on it right away, then you can get it on Amazon and they then they, they you know they get. Got it. Perfect. So, um, oh, thank you. How, you. how did you then decide? Going to going to embed the, the guidance that you're talking about in the area of, of, of helping other other people trying to trying to their own own their soul connection. Soul connection. Obviously, you went Obviously from went computers to to actually physically actually creating art with art. pencils and, and beautiful paintings, right? And then you and then you incorporated that idea of that idea of plants. How did that Yeah. Um, so from the summer of 2014 all the way. No. From the spring through the whole summer and the fall of 2015, I was receiving these drawings. I would go to the beach every day and just really allow anything to come through. And you can see the journey on Instagram. 
Oh. I've posted almost every day on Instagram since I started this experience. Wow. I haven't deleted any of them. So it's almost like a journal. It's less professional and pretty cutty pictures. Right. I'm more like this every day of a light worker or a spiritual guide, an artist. Well, here's what we go through. And it's a big part of my journey because not only was I channeling the coloring book, but I started, um, I was, I've been going through a lot of, as we do when we expand shifts in myself and my family life. And for me, the artwork is how I process and feel my emotions and move through them. And so what I started doing was taking these pictures of myself and playing around with them in these apps on my, on my, just my phone. Um, because at night, that's what I could do and unwind. Um, and what I started doing was having these sort of self portraits. And I started learning all these interesting techniques to, to make them look really cool. And so you can see all that evolution. And at the same time, I was I wanted to book commissions. Yeah. You know, that was my initial goal was like, oh, I'm going to get online and show people my artwork and people are going to buy it. Um, and which I always felt like, oh, I'm going to have this great business as an art. From the youngest age, I just knew that was going to happen. We're both no matter. Yeah. I feel you. <laughs> yeah. And no matter how much, you know, my dad's like, money doesn't grow on trees. You can't make a living doing that. I was like, eh, whatever. You know, you know I just had this faith. Um, so I started somehow. I mean, I came into all these spiritual entrepreneur groups and I was awakening and I was loving my own growth. And I, I started thinking, oh, you know, like I just started learning the spiritual business and business courses I took was a, a show me the money, honey with Sherry Hemstreet. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, Fun. and it was a simple business course with, uh, there were maybe 20 something of us in the course. And that was a wonderful sisterhood that I came into. Um, most of those women are still my friends online today. And we're all doing really quite well. Um, you know, people progress at different stages because they, they, you know, some of us had come into business at our, some people had already been in online or have a coaching business for 10 years before they took the course. So, you know, um, but I got my first PayPal link. I got my business page and I started doing sessions and getting testimonials. I didn't know any energy modality. I didn't, uh, hadn't really experienced coaching per se, but everybody that would have a session with me, which was mainly, mainly the other people in the class, right. they would go and manifest things afterwards just from talking to me. Wow. They would get an audition or they would make some money or they would, um, feel wonderful or so they all posted these testimonials. So I started having the experience of setting up appointments and having testimonials. And I was also at the same time um, being guided by Becky Kynes. And she was really teaching me to feel my own awareness, oh. and shifting my awakening state to, you know, like deleting all of the old stories and karmic patterns and bonds and ties. Samantha Bearden um, and I love Samantha the first she did a, she doesn't have to do them anymore but she just like all of us who start was doing a thread right. and I let me tune in and see what's going on and she's like girl you need to crack your back and ever since then whenever I crack my back it completes a cycle for me oh wow like, yeah whenever I'm like totally my back goes it's always like I just totally up leveled and I always like a lot of times I'll post it, I'll, you know, tag her girl. I just crack my back. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. But, but I was one of the first <clears throat> people to activate my DNA. And it was before everybody was really talking about it. Right. Um, so I was, um, hi, Whitney. I was, um, you know, getting my DNA activated and I was going through all this um, up leveling with Becky. And then Becky started teaching the empowered energy. Back then it was called something else. Okay. And that was just a wonderful gift for me. Mm. Um, I think that came around January of last year because it's so simple. And because I'm a feeler, at this point I'd had months of 
time while I was channeling the coloring book to really release so much of my own um, past programming and emotions and everything. And uh, I, at this point I was feeling, because when I first started, I couldn't even feel the work that she was doing. And now it started being where um, it, I, I would tune into somebody and I would know that what they were feeling, especially in their throat, their heart chakra, the, everything about up here. I'm still working on what's going on down, <laughs> down there, but, <laughs> but right. I, tend to, I tend to have a client base who's a lot like me. Um, we are overachievers. We are a little bit tightly wound. Yes, I'm a Virgo. Um, we have managed to do some wonderful things in our life, despite maybe some trauma or disruption in our early life. But the way we got there was by like clamping everything down and being like, I got it, I got this. And now we're at a point in our life where um, many of my clients, like they have a really great life, but sometimes inside of them, they're not enjoying it because there's still, parts of them are still back there mm -hmm. or they're still holding on so tightly. So um, this, this uh, for most of 2016, um, my client work was with the Empowered Energy. And what happened is, I just one day in the late spring of 2016 thought, oh, these portraits are kind of cool that I'm doing. Why don't I do the portrait and do a quick little empowered energy? And I, you know, and I tried it on a, a friend, an online friend, Lily. Um, I don't know if she says it, Lucia or Lucia, but because uh, she lives here in Los Angeles and I had met her at an event or something and I just thought she was fun energy. I said, hey, would you try something for me? And, and it took me about 45 minutes and she loved it. And I posted it and within like 30 seconds, like I had all these amazing high end coaches and stuff like that. They wanted one, they wanted one. And suddenly like in June and July of 2016, I had like four energy sessions a day and I was just like, I had to do a whiteboard and I had everybody's name and I had to get their selfies and it just suddenly just blew up. Yeah. But I really wasn't charging that much for them. And I was, I got more and more into it. And I started taking amazing transformational experiences, quadrupling their income, um, you know, $40,000 signing client, like some really incredible stuff. But me in my life, like I wasn't ready to say, okay, let me take a certain number of clients and then they go up after, you know, I just, the business strategy of it, I wasn't in the place to, to do that. So 2016 was about, about me sharing and learning my gifts. Right. I gave away a lot, but I received a lot that wasn't money, but was a huge growth and connection and confidence baby because when you do that many sessions and they all they're all amazing there we are we're connected it's happening exactly so that's what i shifted to into into 20 it's a lot longer to have a portrait now because it's a lovely experience and i'm able to have a greater impact and 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 clear my channel because i'm taking care of myself right exactly. you know yeah. and so that's I mean, that's how that evolved from, and I started the portrait, the first portrait I did was a watercolor for Dana, Kaylin. Oh, cool. In January. Right. And I didn't even know what was going to happen with that. And we set intentions and I did some energy work on her and her group was like, boom, it blew up right away. She had a, an amazing impact. And because then I could do them from anywhere. And right. I remember I'd be at like karate or something and, you know, watching the kids and they'd get in the zone and, you know. <laughs> uh, but the clients could feel me working on them while I'm doing the draw, the just on my phone. They can feel. And that's what I love with the phone because I'm touching that, you know, I'm doing this on there and I'm adding third eye, throat chakra expansion, uh, crown, you know, whatever comes through. And I, I remember saying, Mm -mm, no, don't even think about it. D just try to take myself out of it as much as possible. Um, and now I combine like one-on-one -on -one sessions with that really in-depth, I like to call it integration work. Because when you're in that space, 
Yeah. It really is about integration and less about either releasing or activating, uh, but all of it sort of comes together. So, right. yeah. yeah. Oh my um, gosh. Wow. Well, I've learned so much about you just in the last 20 minutes, but I didn't even know. <laughs> I know, I know most people don't but <laughs> it's it's fantastic well i i've done your energy drawing i have your latest one here and yeah woo. tell us about it oh my goodness well i mean it's so the soul color for me is your red you're very much about a lover yes exactly um uh, You've got a healing activation this time with the wand. And I have, I have the reason why I'm so, so in love with what you do is because it's what I do. We use our artistic skills to be able to help create communication tools and help our clients. So I just love that and being able to put them all together. Um, just, I think that your your skill in, in in creating a communication tool that can then help when you're when you're talking to a client you're like okay this is this is what was out of alignment and, and adding some sparkles wherever they needed to um just, i think it's great like <laughs> i know that our clients benefit for, for sure from, from both of us so it's beautiful yeah i mean with the with the the stuff that I put in the portraits, um, the the way I work, I don't often tell you what happened mm -hmm. or why it did what it did. Um, if we have a one-on-one -on -one session, I'll dig around and ask some real good questions and we'll shuffle up the energy. Um, but the actual, I won't say, oh, and then I tuned your chakras or, you know, I don't, it's all very intuitive for me. Um, but, but what has happened on some of the portraits is that, um, like one of the early ones I did, I did some bluebirds and the girl was like, how did you know I have a bluebird tattooed on my back? I was like, well, I don't, but there you go. Well, yeah. I mean, that's, anyway, that's the thing, right? It's this, that you're tapping into their energy and their, the message that is supposed to come through comes in and the art for them, yes. is all integrated into uh, on a subconscious level, I think that it's. Yes, yeah, that's why I like to just, I don't know. And like another one, um, the layering, there this figure came through. Hmm. Uh, and the Wednesday, I remember I worked on it all day on a Wednesday and then delivered the thing on the Thursday. Well, she had been in a shamanic session all day Wednesday, and that figure came through for her that day. Oh, my God. So I was all tuned into her, and it came through in her portrait. She was just like, whoa. I have a lot of stories like that where you, we were both the client and myself just really blown away at what comes through when you really just, as you know, allow, allow, and put yourself out of, out of the mix. Like, it's not me. It's cosmic channel <laughs> well when i'm teaching you know of course i've taken on the big role of teaching intuitive art and um uh, uh, the beginning students always well i just don't know whether i could do this i've never really stretched my intuition this far before and i said like, you can do it but what you have to do is let your brain your mind your ego everything that you've been trained that left kind of logical sense out the window and let your feelings come through so that you can then tap into that right brain and really just allow for the information. And you won't necessarily always know what that means. Right. No. And then you meet with yeah. the client and then um, Whitney was actually told me this morning, she's like, yeah. And I, and I downloaded this, she was doing one of her drawings, the energy drawings that I'm teaching. And, uh, and the message that she got from the energy drawing and she shared with the client, and it was perfect, it was spot on. And I said, see, you take a class like this and you've opened up your skill set. So now she's- Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yes, yeah, yeah. And when you start to open that up, that intuitive and creative part of you and that allowing, oh my gosh, so much, so much happens, you know? So, so much that we don't even know that it's it's the expansion, you know, the opening. Let the floodgates open. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. 
Um, you've been doing uh, little portraits, not the not the uh, electronic ones, but the the drawings. Have you been doing it with your hand, uh, with your hands or on the computer? Again, the digital portraits? No, no, no. The ones the um, you did an energy drawing for for my energy, and you just oh some of the yeah. some of the recent images. Yeah, show you, things. yeah, show you what um the those I do on my phone. Oh, you do. Perfect. Yeah, so I do them in notes. This is your skill, right? You've done electronic. You wanted to, yes, those. I think I just do them on my phone in notes. Oh my goodness. I could do one for us live on the. On oh the, yeah. <laughs> I really don't judge these. Uh, I mean, some days I do them every day for a few days, and then I, I just when it comes through, it comes through. And what I love is that I'll post them, and if there's a message that came, like, oh my god, that was really powerful. And other times there's like not a lot of reaction, and but I, what I love is people see what the, I say what do you see yeah. and everybody sees different things and and sometimes there's like two or three people in there that totally read exactly what I was thinking when I was doing it and I'm like haha nice. somebody <laughs> clued into that <laughs> no, I mean visual visual tools are such a um you know picture speaks a thousand words right uh, they're, they're so wonderful to be able to communicate what's going on in that subconscious mind and that, and the end, right? Yes, I was gonna say I can also bring up the one of the portraits so that they can see. Oh yes, do this is one I. Oh beautiful! Oh, yeah, just move over there. there. You go. perfect. That's beautiful. And so there are these fun um, gifts applications that I can use to make movies and I do those too where I imbue the animation with energy and you know depending on the speed and the vibe of it and you know that people will receive a lot from those ones too um oh like this one I love I love this one a lot oh yes I love that that's and I keep oh, every so time it's like you know every time there's like a some Thing where everybody's like, oh, you know, we need love. Uh, drop that one. You know, it's like love, love, drop. You know, <laughs> um, so yeah. I love <laughs> and but these digital sketches are really handy because uh, they are like a reading, mm -hmm. and then I go and add afterwards on top of it the healing, like oh, I did with you. Oh, got it. Yeah. So first, I'll like I'll just tune in and just like uh, I mean, like a lot of my clients, I'll feel the tight throat, so I'll just like. I don't even really think about it. I just go in there and just whatever comes through. And then I'll look at it and I'll go, oh. And it makes sense to me what it is. Um, and I just, then it comes through, oh, we need some yellow and some blue. I can't tell you why, right. but I think that's why my stuff works. I'm not trying to put my judgment on it. I'm just like, oh, it just, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. And then put it in. And then, and then they give me feedback on what happened or what shifted. And, um, um, well, I've experienced like a combination of like my own modality, my own awareness, my own receiving. But then I've also taken a lot of training, and so I've I've been taking Samantha Bearden's DNA Restructurista, and and I've been taking Elysia's Sacred Soul Alignments, and of course I've done Becky's Empowered Energy, um, and so I have a nice toolkit which is really wonderful. It gives a nice framework, but then I'm also just guided and, and I love cards and crystals and essential oils and all that good stuff. So. And everybody can watch you on Valtopia TV, right? Yes, which is coming up in half an hour. I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna talk about, but. <laughs> exactly, well, we better let you go. So, um, so again, Valtopia.com and then how do they find Valtopia TV? You can find, um, I've started broadcasting it from my business page, which is Valtopia Studios. If you do a Google for, I mean, a search and Facebook for Valtopia Studios, we can put a link to. Um, and I, I, I sometimes I go just on my page because the algorithm is different. And I've had, uh, I've had some weeks where I get up to 1,000, 2,000 viewers. Wow. And what's really interesting is, 
like a lot of people tell me they watch the show and I didn't, I didn't even know they're watching it because they may not have ever commented during the show. But then later they'll say, oh yeah, I watch you and I saw your latest thing. And I've had people message me and um, say they lost 40 pounds or a hundred. Two people told me they lost large amounts of weight just from watching my show because they wow. were uplifted and the things I talk about changed their mindset. These were people that aren't in our spiritual community, but they may have been family or friends. I've had a lot of people message me. Wow. So, wow. That's, that fun. Was- that's fun that, you know, just getting on and, and I really, I know that it's a vehicle to share my business and look for new clients. And I've been trying to gear it more like that, but I really just love to hop on and just talk to everybody and read some cards and do that. So I try to do a little bit of both to keep that energy playful and, and fun. And those are my two top soul gifts are creativity and fun. Um, creation, creative, you know, make creating and it's got to be fun, but I really was I'm out. <laughs> I love it. Well, you're always a, a big ball of sunshine for me. Absolutely. So thank you. I love you. Thank you so much for being with us today. I so appreciate your 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 beauty and your talents and you're spreading it all out into the world. So again, thank you. And uh, and for those of you who are watching, just go to valtopia.com and, and check out. I will say my website's a little sad and neglected right now, but um, you can find my Instagram's a little more. It's valtopia on Instagram. That's a daily update. And those pump through to my business page. So, and I have a group, Divine Brilliance for Visionary yeah. Leaders. Yeah. And that's for you if you are have a great vision or you know it, a deep knowing in your heart and um, you're, e- you're either already doing it and you know there's more and you can't admit the truth yourself. So you need to go in there and get a little Valtopian and loosen up and creative and let it all come out, not just the parts you think everyone wants to see. And I'm doing working on that myself all the time too. So <laughs> you're not keeping it all whole and real. Yeah, this is part of the the beauty. Well, thank you again. I really appreciate you. Absolutely. Okay. Well, bye, everybody. See you next time.